Island Tantrum and today we're going to be breaking down the tea stop. I'm seeing a lot of people on TikTok dragging their toe stop and making that a stop. So I'll show you what it looks like and we don't want to do it because it's not effective. It's really not safe, especially when you're outdoor skating, you're putting your ankle in a really vulnerable position. So let's not talk about it, let's not do it. So I have Derby skates and moxies. So I'll be showing you my moxies today so you can see the outdoor wheel. So I have my moxies on, all ready to go. Please, if you are a newer skater, put on all your gear. I've been skating for a long time and I'm just giving you a demo video, so I'm just doing this in my skates. This is what a T-stop looks like. And what it looks like. And this is what we don't want. Uh, uh, oh, even doing it all. So what we want to do to set up for our T-stop is we want to get used to gliding. So that's one foot. Okay? Just being on one foot. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that our knee is bent and all our weight is over on one side. So just practice being on one foot for a little while. Being on one foot, taking all our weight over to one side. So we are nose, chest, knee, bam. Hopefully that lining is a little bit better, but that's okay if it's not. So we want to be nose, chest, kneecap, and we're going to bring all our weight over to one side. Okay, so all we're going to do is get used to balancing on one side. That's the first start of our T-stop. Figure out, we're just going to glide. And again, glide. Then we're going to learn how to place that back foot back. Okay? See how I'm getting that sound? That's because all my four wheels are placing behind me. I'm not slamming it down with two wheels. I'm not slamming it down onto the ground. We're not doing our toe stop. All four wheels from our back leg is kissing the concrete. You'll get that nice glide. See that? Glide. And for all our wonderful visual learners that just like to see skates, because that's me, I just I just like to see the skate sometimes. It's just man. So you still want those knees nice and bent. We're looking at where we want to go, all our weights on one side, kissing the ground. Okay, see that? Forward, back. Make sure you do both sides. Both sides. Okay? So again, all our weight's on one side and we're bringing up and we're opening up our legs and we're placing it down. You don't slam it, we're placing it. Just get comfortable with gliding first. Nothing wrong with just learning how to glide. Glide, and then we can kiss the ground. Kiss, kiss, kiss the ground. My favorite analogy to use when I teach people how to teach stuff is it like you've got a really fresh, fluffy white piece of bread and you want to butter your bread. You don't want to dig your knife into the bread. You want to skim it nicely. So the ground is the bread. This is the butter knife. Woo! Okay, also we don't want to be looking down at our skates. We don't want to be looking at the toe stop. We want to look up. Look up. So again, for our visual learners, I'm just going to show you the skates and the preparation and the outcome of a tea stop. And I'm just going to give you some more words, okay? So remember our first step. We're taking our whole body somewhere. So chin, chest, kneecap. Okay, go over to one side, balance. Balance. Step one, balance. Then we're gonna do step two. Learning how to glide on one foot. Learning how to glide on one foot. Keep that knee bent. Keep all your weight on one leg. Okay? Balance, balance, balance. Make sure we're looking up. Chin up. Balance, balance, balance. Step three, toe stop. Place that back 
foot onto the ground. Buggy your bread. Still keeping nice and low in our power box. This is our power box down here. We want to keep it nice and low and agile. There. Keeping it nice and low. T-stop. Good job. You'll get it. Make sure you get that balance first. Don't want to skip step one. Once you've got that balance, the rest is easy. I'll show you forward. Another big thing with our feet is we make sure that everything's nice and square, our knees are not out, they're not buckled, we want them nice and straight. When we do our T-stop, we don't want our foot out here or back here. We want it generally behind. See how it's behind like a T? And we want to maintain that little gap. So we don't want to look like this. We want to look like this. All the power is below. Beautiful. And again, it will take you a little while to get a T-stop, don't worry. Practice makes progress. And then just pump out as many as you can. Good job. And of course, make sure that we always do both sides. You might find one side is harder than the other, but that's okay. So we want to get that beautiful T-stop. Hey, that's it, that's me breaking down the T-stop. Easy peasy, huh? So we want to be nice and low. We want to do all our steps, which is get low. Make sure all our weight is shifted over to one leg. Chin, core, kneecap. Step three, we want to make sure that we've got that glide on one foot, and then we're going to place down that back foot nice and gently. Having a lot of trouble with this, you might be rushing it. You might be gliding and you're going, oh my God, I'm going to smash down that back foot. Just, it's okay, be nice and calm, just slowly push it down. If you're having even more trouble, comment below and I might be able to assist you or anything along those lines. So, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give me a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you so much. Have an amazing day. Bye.